When he went to court a few days ago, the prayer by IEBC chairperson Wafula Chibukati was that his powers should not be adversely reduced in the management of the presidential poll. the chairman give a number, can he make a declaration and give a number that he knows based on the verification not to be correct? So that the question is, should he then fill in Form 34C based on the numbers in Form 34B that he knows not to be correct after the verification, or should he announce the numbers based on the verification and addition of the numbers appearing in Form 34A? What is the result that he is supposed to declare? If there is a difference in the forms, that difference forms the basis of a dispute. And if the difference or the affected polling stations can alter the entire results of the election, nothing stops the chairperson of the commission from coming to the court and say these elections cannot be declared based on the statutory instruments which we have here. So much that he even wanted to be granted powers to make adjustment to the results if Forms 34A do not marry with those in Forms 34B. It is absolutely clear that you can only correct an omission, a patent mistake, or a very clear error. It's absolutely clear. That's what, what, not what you are being asked to do. You are being probably asked to reverse a certain decision, to de make a different determination from what Maina Chaya did or from what you did in Raila 2017. And there is no basis for that. When you are making the decision whether to grant the clarification or not, bear in mind the greatest public good. Is your clarification going to promote the highest public good or not? Is you are declining to give the clarification promotive of the greatest public good. However, in a unanimous decision, Supreme Court judges say IBC chairperson has no such powers. Second respondent may not correct, vary, confirm, alter, modify, or adjust the results transmitted from the constituency telling center to the national telling center. The effect being that the results declared by the constituency returning officer were final as far as the National Telling Center was concerned. In upholding the decision by the appellate court, the judges maintained results announced at the constituency are final, and that any variation can only be done before an electoral court. Form 34B, as a basis of declaration of vote outcome, in my view, is practically sound. However, given the vitality of finality in electoral processes. The second respondent ought to take responsibility for assessing in the first place the relevance of any discrepancy in the recorded details to the electoral result. On that basis, the result should be declared save that an aggrieved party may move the Supreme Court on the basis of clear evidence pointing towards a different course. A decision that both parties in the case were quick to concur with. We take this opportunity once again thank the Supreme Court for helping clarify the law and uh, the manner in which the proceedings were handled accord with the dignity of a Supreme Court of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. We thank your counsel. Lilian Otieno for Channel One News.